guys and welcome back so today I'm getting ready to head out I have an appointment with a realtor to look at a townhouse that I have been eyeing so right now I have been heavily considering buying it's about that time I've had enough of apartment life it's time to do some adulting so we're gonna go around my preferred area which is right here I don't want to be too far from where I am but not so far from my job either but yeah I have a property in mind that I have been eyeballing for weeks online and we're gonna go ahead and take a look and tour it today and I got a good feeling about this we're gonna keep our fingers crossed I'm gonna hope that everything is just like the pictures because I went and looked at a property a couple of weeks ago and it was nothing like the pictures it was run down it like these were the pictures that they posted when they sold the house previously they didn't do any updating so they catfished me so we're gonna hope that this isn't a catfish situation that this house is just as pretty as it is online and the price is perfect so yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna take you guys with me today. I just threw on the first, I'm running a little late. I just threw on the first thing that I saw in the dryer. Just pulled out a shirt and some jeans and I changed my purse. I hadn't done that in a while. I'm gonna carry my freaking bag today. I wanna feel a little cute even though I'm just wearing jeans and sneakers. Sometimes you just wanna feel cute and use your cute things. So today I'm gonna carry my cute purse. But yeah, let's go ahead because I have to stop and get coffee. I'm supposed to meet her at 1. It is 12.30 right now. So we're gonna head on so I can get me a frappe on the way. <laughs> I'm excited. I actually need to um, run my car through the car wash at some point today because it is getting a little dirty on the outside. Real vicious, bro. I'm about to give you all the keys and security codes. This property isn't too far from where I currently live, which is great. It's only going to take like eight minutes to get there. We're just going to hope that ugh, the line isn't very long at McDonald's. The debate is do I want a detached house do I want a condo slash townhouse though I am leaning towards the condo or the townhouse so that I don't have to worry about lawn work and all of that kind of stuff because it's just me single lady no kids um, I have a full-time job and the last thing I want to be worried about is you know lawn care lawn work who's gonna do it who I'm gonna call to come do it, you know, things like that. So if I live in a um, townhouse or a condo community, like there's really not much upkeep. So, you know, that's where I'm really leaning towards. Though everybody's saying, no, you should want your own little house. Yeah. And I totally get that. I would love that. I would love that. I would love that. But at the end of the day, I have to look out for my purse, my coins. I have to do what I can afford. And I don't want to deviate from as, um, as far as like a mortgage. You know what I mean? Like I'm comfortable with my current um, rent payment. And I know that it's possible for me to have a mortgage around the same thing and a couple of the townhouses and condos that I've looked at are in my price range. The mortgage would be just about what I'm paying now, um, give or take um, like $50, $60, which is perfect. And as far as space goes, I'm always thinking about my utility bill. Like I said, it's just me. And I don't want a huge utility bill because even in my apartment now, and I'm living in a relatively big apartment right now, in the wintertime, it can be crazy. Almost $200 for my utilities. So, and I know that having a bigger house comes with bigger bills and I ain't trying to do that I still want to live have a good time travel 
you know, and eat and all that good stuff, you know, I want to do Misha things from time to time with my money. So, I still want to have a life. I don't want to be a slave to the mortgage, if that makes sense. Yeah, no. I need to be getting over. All right, so it is 12.40. I got 20 minutes, and I kind of want to beat her there so I can um, do a little video of the outside for you without any interruptions or anybody trying to sell me on something. You know how that goes. And so McDonald's isn't going to let us be great. This line is wrapped around the building, though I didn't realize it is like 1 o'clock almost. So this is like lunchtime. I guess this guy's trying to back out. All right, guy, come on. All right, so I just arrived. I beat um, the realtor here, so. But I can't get in right now, so I still have to wait on her. But it looks nice from the outside. Um, it's cute or whatever. I just pray that the walls are thin. It'd be ideal, though, if you can go to a visiting and then you can hear kind of what the other um, tenants or the neighbors next to you are like. I, I really wish that could happen. I want to hear how loud they are. I want to hear if I can actually hear them talking through the walls, you know, that type of thing. But that's the only downfall about living in a townhouse or a condo because you are sharing walls. Mm. I did want to get away from that, but I'm still cool with it, long as there isn't much noise. Not much noise. I can deal with it. Let me see if I can get a good shot of the front of this place for you. So it's going to be that one right there. It's cute, right? It's kind of cute. I like the door. It has curb appeal. It has a little pizzazz. I just don't like that the, um, whoa, we all up in my face. I just don't like that, um, the, what do you call that meter thing? Like your utility meter is like right there. I wish they could have put it maybe like on the side or something oh and she just pulled up behind me all right guys so i will get back with you in a second mm -hmm. well this one's actually really as pretty as the pictures So cute. Oh, mm -hmm, that's cute, right? Yeah. Brandy fits on this side. Mm hmm. Have a look. Have a look. Yeah. No, but it makes all that for your outdoor needs yeah. and stuff. Like it. And that's a, like a Japanese maple looking kind of tree. Yeah, it's got a little pad of grass in the front to maintain and um, 
Well, it's not much grass, right? No. No, I work at... Oh, it's the airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, so out there at um, Savannah would not be that far from me. Um, it's you know, kind of far. To get to the airport. I mean, yeah. This is super close, yeah, this, though. Yeah, this is super close. And like I was saying, Savannah's out there, but if you want to get to Arsenal or somewhere like that, you know, it's not going to be that far. Yeah, I don't just finished 
touring um, the house. It is beautiful. I'm in love with it. This is the one. You know when you just know, you just know, and I just know that this one is the one for me. Everybody's saying that no, you shouldn't go with the townhouse. Yada yada yada. No townhouse. Shoot for something bigger. Shoot for something better. Well, this is the bigger and better for me. This is what I love. I'm in love with this one. This is what's going to work for me. I I know my coins. I know my financial situation. I know that this will be obtainable for me in my pocketbook. I don't want to be without anything. I have other obligations to pay as well and this will go with my lifestyle. Perfect as far as my bills because I still have to pay, you know, car insurances and uh, you know, you know, the internet bill, the cable bill, this bill, that bill, you know what I mean? The credit cards, you know what I mean? The gas and the car, keep food on the table and pay the mortgage. I can do that. Like I said, I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses. I know what I can do and what works for me. But if you have buying advice for me, I'm willing to listen and take your advice. Uh, maybe you've already bought a home or maybe you're looking into buying too. Let me know what you chose. Um, but yeah, I'm always interested in, in taking advice. But yes, I'm going to speak this one into existence. This is my home. I'm claiming it. I have to have this one. This one's perfect. I mean, and this is a rarity as well for my area. Um, having, living in a condo townhouse community without HOA dues. And that was one of my things that I didn't want to do is pay dues. Because if you're paying dues then you might as well get something bigger because that's more money that you could be put towards um, a bigger house. That's a little more money that you could be putting towards your mortgage. So, you know, those HOA dues are just going whoosh down the crapper and you may or may not be even benefiting from the use of the HOA due every month. But even though I know that they say that it takes care of the maintenance and um, and the upkeep of the outside appearance of your home, but it's not every month that you're gonna need a new coat of paint. You know what I mean? Like it's not every month that you know that they're gonna come and, and pat on your house and do something to it. Like so, it's kind of a waste. Unless it's one of those communities that come with uh, free cable and internet, because we do have those out here in Madison as well. But like I said, I'm really not interested in doing that. I, I like to have the luxury and the option of, you know, having my own cable and internet subscription and canceling at my own will if I choose not to pay that bill. You know what I mean? So that's where I am with that. But this is for me. I got to have this one. It was gorgeous. It was perfect. It was everything I want for my lifestyle. And it's only like six, seven minutes away from my job. I can whip back and forth easily. Um... I'm still at the heart of Madison. I can still get to shopping quickly. I can get to um, dinner and drinks with friends easily. You know what I'm saying? It won't be a, a headache or a hard time for clients to get to me as I still do freelance out of my home from time to time. So like that's what I'm looking at. I'm just looking at the convenience of, of the location. And location is everything for me because I feel like I have to be in the heart of the city. I don't want to be way out in the country where that's going to cost me uh, more gas because now I'm burning more gas getting from the um, outer city to the inner city, going back, coming in, going back, coming in, you know what I mean? And I'm one of those sometimes I might need to take two or three trips to the Walmart today and I want to have that luxury, but yeah. This is it, y'all. I love it. Let me know what y'all think of the tour and the video of the home. What did you like about it? Can you see me living in this place? I'm all about it. But yeah, that's it for me. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.